Welcome back, everyone. It's a tier 8 game on El Halouf, and I am in the British tier 6 artillery, the FV 304, affectionately known as the Burt. Um, this patch is a little bit silly, uh, to be quite honest. Um, frequently, I don't show matches like this one, but I feel like this one that has enough sort of crazy derpy moments that only Burt could possibly do. Uh, that it sort of deserves its own little look. So we're starting off pretty stand here. Bert is going to race up and chill near the heavy tank corner so we can batter on uh, enemy heavy tanks in an effort to help my heavy tanks win the corner. Because I'm looking at my heavy tank team and their heavy tank team, and I'm kind of feeling like they're pretty closely matched. Getting artillery fire in there might swing the difference in favor of my team. It's a little bit awkward for most artillery to shoot in here, and Bert's no exception, but he's got a better chance of doing it than many others. The problem is finding a good firing position. I'm still, once again, still experimenting with finding a good firing position up here for the FE-304. I really want to be able to shoot this spot right here. This is where a bunch of mediums like to hang out. I don't expect to see WZ-111 coming up that way, but that's okay. Here. Get a nice little shot into him as he moves into position. The reason I'm surprised to see WZ there is that's usually position for tanks with gun depression. WZ is Chinese. It doesn't get gun depression. Alright, there's the rest of enemy heavy tanks in a place I'd much more expect to see them. So we'll just start throwing shells at them. Our Pershing has gotten himself into a interesting starting position. I'm trying for an engine deck hit on this IS-3, but I end up clinching the move. I do still just get lucky enough to at least score a small damaging hit. Our Pershing, as expected, gets himself crushed in that position because he didn't have any direct support. Uh, even Burt can't shoot in here, it's just too much stuff in the way. But I can't shoot this WZ. This is the position I was looking for in the first place. And it's not a very big hit, but every little bit helps sometimes. Besides, AT module damage can really cripple a heavy tank. Yeah. Alright, you want some more? Oh, stupid rock got in the way. Stop jumping out in front of the way, rocks. Bert is not supposed to miss. Now a little further away because I can see there's opponents fighting at the heavy tank corner there. I'm kind of hoping maybe I can find a way to bomb some shells in there. Still looking for that IS-3, IS-6. There we go. Oh, he moved. It <laughs> just misses him anyways. Luckily, the Trinomary tanks back here means that they're actually getting each other's way. And there we go. That's one IS-6 down. Ooh, a T-25-2. Lightly armored, open-topped vehicle. One of Bert's favorite targets. Fortunately, he's backed out of range. Now that WZ's coming back up, really need to do some more damage to that guy. He's one of the better players on the team and a very strong tank. When the T-25 pops up, I start putting shots on him instead. Heh. <laughs> He gets owned by a pair of artillery, other artillery shells, though. I really like seeing if we can get a shot over here. Now they're too close to the wall. Oh, WZ's coming out. Oh, he's going really far out. So now he's in a spot where he's definitely vulnerable to Bert. Ooh, he takes a big hit, too. <sighs> Getting trolled by my own gun again. My team is capping, but I'm not too confident that this can take it. Bert tries again. He set him on fire, but he doesn't die. He had a premium fire extinguisher, so he took a minimal amount of fire damage. Still, he's really low on health now. Go for another follow-up shot. Nope, he's not there. So you know why moving in on the guys in the base. You are capturing the base, so shift my aim down there. This 
score a minor hit. That was a T-34, too. Oh, I just sort of said, derp, takes out. Our unfortunate Amex 1375. Now these two are keeping us from capping, so I'm going to rip them. Of course, WZ shows back up. Let's see if I can get a shot to finish him. Gosh, he's got a fraction of his health left. I mean, 11 hit points. Easy kill for a bird, if I can hit him. See there where it pops up. Doesn't bother stopping aiming, which is why I miss. I was kind of expecting to hit the ground. Tillery scores a big hit on the T-34. I follow it up with another smaller one. Alright. He's out. Try and get to the OIS. Because the stir meal didn't see him. I say, he must be hidden back here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Eat bird shell. All right, 109 hit points. I can probably take him out. The next shot, maybe, if I'm a little bit lucky. Score another hit on him, but it doesn't quite kill him. Unfortunately, I can tell my heavy tank is starting to lose. I really ought to get this guy off the base. At least that's what I tell myself. I really just leave him there. I'm too busy to allow myself to be distracted by the OI. By the time I realize, oh, my heavy tanks need a hand, it's too late and there's only one left. Since IS-6 is angling for a shot on my friendly tank, I'm not even sure where that shot went. It just sort of disappeared. It may have hit and bounced off. There's that WZ again. Um, teammates are getting wrecked. Go for the WZ. Bad shot. Miss him. Realizing I can't help the IS-6 anymore, that he's just doomed. I turn and make a run for it. Oh, why is taken out by the Borsig? Now I'm just trying to get behind the Borsig. He's the only real combat tank we've got left, though, against a trio of heavy tanks. I'm not sure what a single Borsig's going to do, but we do have myself and the GW Panther as well still, though. The GW just fired, and there's a KV-3 coming for him. Got him back to a slightly safer position. It's now just me and the Borsig. The Borsig is close after an ambush on the KV-3. I'm going to see if I can help by tracking him. <laughs> no need. Boom. All right. Two very low health enemy heavy tanks. Two enemy artillery left versus my Bert and a Rhymes Borsig Waffentrager. It's tempting to go out hunting those guys. Bert can actually kill either one. The problem is, is that um, I could easily be one shot by either one. So the Borsig pings behind us, and I go, alright, I can fall back. I ain't got a problem with that. He's indicating he wants me to hide in E0, I think. Cool. I head that way. So at this point, you're probably going, where's the cool Bert thing? So the cool Bert things are about to start happening. Bert end of game heroics is how Bert does things. So at this point, I say to myself, all right, there's too many heavy tanks that were coming in from the west. There's still two unspotted artillery. So I said, I'm going to hide in this bush right here where I have vision over what's coming up behind the Borsig, but the bush will still help protect me from um, anything coming up from the front. So I am right here. And I'm patient. It only takes one shot. I'll key either one of them with one shot unless I get an unlucky bounce. Yeah, this little period where nothing really seems to happen. Speed up here a little bit briefly. Surprise! It's a good thing I kept an eye out because, well, I might have been spotted, but I ducked back into hard cover because an M12 tried to sneak up on the Borsig. Luckily, I gave him warning. Fortunately, I, we both got spotted in the M12. Well, fortunately, his friend didn't kill me. But his other friend is only zeroing in on 
for poor sake. Aim, lose side of the M12, but I have a pretty good idea where he is. Fortunately, the other M12 finishes off the Borsig. It's now B versus an artillery and two unshotable heavy tanks. <sighs> Bert, the Avenger, realizes my only real chance, <laughs> insane as it sounds, is to go find the other artillery. I'm a lot faster than either heavy tank. I'm a lot sneakier than heavy tank. Oh, someone's capping. Because the WZ was just up there. I'm betting it's probably the IS-6 who's capping. But it's going to be hard to tell. Doesn't really matter. Can't serve with quite yet. I need to go find and kill the last artillery. So, go back to double speed because this is a slow climb even in Burton. Really praying that WZ doesn't show up and just take me flat out as I come up here. Hit the top hill thinking, alright, I'll see the artillery. M12, where are you hiding? Oh, apparently I'd be hiding. Right over there. Please don't kill me, Mr. Heavy Tanks. Just taking out your artillery. <laughs> Mischief managed. Alright. Time to go. Let's find out. Both enemy heavy tanks are on the cap now. Time to go. Give them a little lesson. Why Bert is one of the best reset machines in the game. So right here. Sure. I'll be spotted when I pop up. But I can hopefully pop up, spot, pull back out of fire range. And then use Bert's stupid good, good gun arc to put a shot on them. There's the IS-6. He's actually the one I wanted to spot. First, pull back. Oof. He just misses me. And the IS-6 goes boom. <laughs> There's now an 11 health WZ-111 on the uh, the cap circle. I'm thinking, alright, I'm just going to reposition and do it again. So I'm coming over here with the intent of trying to do the pop shot from the north side of the cap next, because I have plenty of time to get there. And suddenly the capture stops. WZ is not a moron. He's gotten off the cap to come and try and fight me. It's his best chance of survival. Because I've just shown that... Yeah, I just shot... At some, yeah, I, I had not realized at the time, because I was tired, that the cap started started. I was still thinking he was in the cap circle. But now, being fired, I'm like, wait, he's not in the cap circle anymore. Uh-oh. He's not in the cap circle anymore. I don't know where he is. So I just decided to keep moving and just pray against all hopes that when I spot him, that he's looking the wrong way, so I have a second or so to aim before his gun comes to bear. So he wants to fight. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I just don't know where he is. Let's make a long story short. I come out looking for him. And he's not there. And he's not there. Where is he? Hello, WZ. As it turns out, I never do find him. He never finds me. He went, I went north, he went south. By the time I realized where he must have gone, because once again, I was tired. It's too late, and the match is over. A draw, after all of that awesomeness. And I'm stuck with a draw against a 20-hit point opponent. Just was not meant to be. Let's take a look, though, at the post-game stats of that one. Oop, left that up again. Alright. So, got me SPG-6 towards the T-55A. Ah, uh, man, that WZ. If he had not had that premium fire extinguisher, game would have been won. Ah, uh, because remember, I set him on fire. I set him on fire with one of my shells, and he took one tick of fire damage, and then did not die, and then he just missed him. I missed him so many times! So many times, so many opportunities where I could have won this game. Could have killed the WZ-111, just did not get the shots. <sighs> Is the peril of artillery, even very accurate artilleries like the Mighty Burt. Still, overall, almost 2,000 damage done. Uh, I can't really complain too much, particularly since I got a mission completed out of it. Uh, for team stats, uh, our WZ, the Borsig, 
uh, a whole bunch of our tanks actually fought really, really well. And the enemy teams, that IS-6 and the WZ who were platooned together, uh, did fantastic job for the team. All of the team members actually did a pretty good job, too. It's really too bad for both of us, really, that that ended as a draw. I just kind of wish that we had been able to find each other, because, frankly, win or lose, it, it still would have been better being stuck with uh, a, a simple draw, because uh, that was an amazingly close match in the end. Personal stats. 26 shots fired, half of them hit, 11 pence, 7 splash damages, which means basically nothing to Bert, because splash damage is so pathetic on this vehicle. Um, <laughs> spotted two vehicles. I think that was both the artillery. <laughs> Got myself 66 base defense points. Almost enough for a medal. Oh, if only I'd waited a few more seconds, I could have gotten the medal as well, but... Oh well, I traveled four kilometers, which is not unusual for Bert. Got myself a very nice bundle of credits. And um, even without getting the heroic resistance bonus, I still came out with a fairly nice 840 experience. I hope you all enjoyed watching that. Good game, and good night. Oh, where's the... Nope. Absolutely.